Hola, it's Miss Duncan here, and I'm just going to give you a brief idea of uh, just important information for those of you who are considering taking a GCSE in languages. OK, so first of all, I'm going to run through some top tips. It's a life skill. Once you've got to a good GCSE standard, you're never going to forget it. Um, if, even if you haven't spoken it for years, you put a bit of effort in and it just comes flooding back. So definitely it's a life skill make sure uh, that you remember that. Two, colleges and universities love languages students. It's part of the English baccalaureate offer and uh, it's a facilitating subject which means that they look favourably on it and it kind of goes well with other subjects and um, because it has lots of different skills involved. Uh, number three, it's a challenge. I'm not going to tell you that studying languages is the easy option. It's definitely hard work, requires time, effort and practice and you'll know that from your studies up to to key stage three um, but it's so rewarding it's the most amazing feeling when you make yourself understood by someone who doesn't speak you know your language um, so yeah it's just a really incredible feeling and it's really empowering okay so hard work but empowering uh, it really helps to be interested in the culture of the countries where your chosen language is spoken so this will give you context, it will give you motivation, it will make it a real thing that you're, you're, you're studying. You know, languages are living, breathing, you know, things that are always evolving. So um, definitely pays to be interested and helps you to get into it more. Also, um, it's important to enjoy, you know, language as in words and where they come from and their historical, you know, how they came into being. So if you are a student who likes English language, uh, then I think that could ha help you a lot. Um, so yeah, curious mind and thinking about where things come from and how they work um, is really going to help you. Finally, don't be afraid to make mistakes and uh, get things wrong and sort of make a bit of a fool of yourself. Remember that, you know, you're speaking something which um, feels a bit funny coming out of your mouth and makes your mouth move in a different way. And it, it's almost like having a different personality. So um, if you're going to do languages for GCSE, you need to be ready to uh, kind of throw off the, the, the fear and not worry about making mistakes. And, you know, the more that you do that, the more that you learn and the more that you'll get from it. So, um, yeah, just try to uh, have the confidence to do that. All right, a quick run through of the exams. There are four skills, reading, writing, listening and speaking. They are all exams. There's no coursework. The speaking exam is a one to one exam with a teacher and all the others are in the hall. And uh, if you have any questions, please uh, get in touch with me somehow. I'm happy to answer any queries. Um, that goes for heritage languages as well. If you speak a language at home that you would like to take an exam in, get in touch and we can see if we can organise that um, at some point this year or in the years to come. OK, time's up now. Merci, au revoir, à bientôt, adios.